You've got to focus on what is getting into the body that's causing this inflammatory response. That means foods. Focus on the digestive system. Repair the gut. Use glutamine. Use uh, uh, the digestive enzymes after meals. Apple cider vinegar after meals. Lecithin, bile salts. All the things we talk about here on the bright side for the digestive system. The BioLumin Nightly Essence, the best probiotic supplement going. Sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Making sure she's getting her nutrients in liquid format. So, so important. The second thing you want to do is protect the, the, the cells from suffocation by making sure she's deep breathing correctly, oxygenating, spending two or three minutes deep breathing. Just that alone will help with dementia, symptoms of dementia. Just oxygenation alone will help with the symptoms of, uh, of dementia, of any kind of uh, degenerative disease. But for your friend or, or this gal, make sure she's, uh, you might want to advise her to practice her deep breathing techniques. The third thing you want to do is make sure she's getting on a good nutritional supplement program, especially supplements. Supplements, uh, fatty supplements. The brain is very receptive to fatty nutrients like vitamin E and coenzyme Q10. I'd be using 400 international units of a mixed tocopherol as well as 100 milligrams a day of coenzyme Q10. And it's ubiquinone or ubiquinol form. The ubiquinol is a little bit more potent than the ubiquinone, but either way, uh, coenzyme Q10 is very important for brain health. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea for her to start to get in some uh, essential fatty acids, especially omega-3 fats, very important for brain health. And then last, but most certainly not least, there's a whole bunch of other things, but, but the last thing I want to tell you about is the B-complex, which is super important for brain health. You'll get that in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, of course, high doses of that, but it might not be a bad idea for her to take in something called a B100, you get that at a health food store in addition to vitamin B12 injections. Any kind of nervous system disease or, or brain disease or a movement disorder or palsy, think about vitamin B12, which is difficult to absorb, which requires various chemical factors in the digestive system for its absorption. If you have any kind of stomach problems, if you're not making enough stomach acid, the, the odds are pretty good you're not going to get vitamin B12 out of your foods. That's even if you are eating the foods that contain B12, which are animal, animal proteins, animal-type foods. Uh, but most of us aren't even, or many of us, especially if she has Pick's disease, uh, many of us aren't even getting the B12, even if we're getting those kinds of foods. So uh, B12 injections or B12 supplements probably are a good idea. Thanks for your call, RC. Appreciate it very much, and good luck. Let's see, uh, Brian in New Hampshire. What's going on, my friend? Hey, Ben. I, I have a couple questions. I've been following you pretty closely over the past couple of years. Uh -huh. um, and I think I have a problem when it comes to high cortisol levels, and I have problems with, like, a lingering problem with acidity in my stomach. So I was going to ask you about Himalayan system. That's great. I mean, you got more problem, and it's not going to take care of your cortisol issues. There's a lot of other things you want to do for cortisol. And by the way, you're you're in good company, Brian. Most people have hypercortisol issues, especially as we get older. Uh, all, many of the signs of aging that we assume are just parts of aging, wrinkling skin and thinning skin and bone problems and immune problems and dry skin, etc., are really cortisol issues. So a lot of times we just think we're getting older and when we're really just under a lot of stress and our body's making the stress chemical cortisol. So sea salt and Himalayan salt, in general, are really good for the adrenal glands, which make cortisol. So, yes, indeed, Himalayan salt is an awesome supplement. I like Celtic sea salt a little bit better. Um, if you prefer Himalayan salt, that's great. Use it, but what you want to look for is not, when we talk about salt and making sure you're getting enough salt, what you want to be focusing on is not Morton's or table salt. Table salt only provides you with two elements, maybe three if you count the iodine, but Himalayan salt and Celtic sea salt, have a, or have a well-rounded mineral spectrum. So you're getting a lot more minerals. You're getting, you know, things like iron and tin and uh, uh, selenium and uh, magnesium and potassium when you do your sea salt and your Himalayan salt, and all those are wonderful for the adrenal glands. Are you craving salt, Brian? Do you, you like salty foods? You find, you know, I, you, I often will crave uh, salt, but I don't eat it. I, what I do is I either take a mushroom familiar, familiar with Garden of Life, but I take a raw meal, or I just take whey protein. And I, usually I love Garden of Life. Love Garden of Life. But, but you're still not getting salt. Garden of Life is a, a probiotic, and uh, whey protein is great, too. And that's all great, but you're still not getting salt. So you've got to give yourself salt. You want to be proactive with salt, because if, you don't be, if you're not proactive with salt, you're going you're gonna to find yourself uh, just drawn to potato chips. And, and pretzels, and a lot of times when we get these kinds of salty foods, we're also getting a lot of crap with them. So you want to be proactive with your salt so you don't find yourself going to the snack foods, because we just love snack foods, because they're com uh, snack foods are combinations of salt and oil. And the com 
combination of salt and oil is absolutely irresistible if you're deficient in salt and you're deficient in oil. So be proactive with your salt and oil. Use salt and oil together. Use salt and oil, uh, uh, mix salt with fatty foods such as avocados. The combination of avocados and sea salt or Himalayan salt is not only ridiculously delicious, so amazingly tasty, especially if you're uh, deficient in salt and deficient in oil, i.e. if you're like most of us. And uh, not only is it delicious and, and, and unbelievably tasty, but it's also a wonderful way to get good fats, and it's a wonderful way to make sure that you're getting salt. If you eat two avocados with salt, uh, sprinkled liberally with salt, not only will you find yourself completely satisfied, but you'll also be taking care of your salt cravings as well. And, of course, you'll also be benefiting your skin and your brain uh, and all the other parts of your, of your body that depend on electrical energy. Oil is electrical. Oil is powerful. Oil is energy. And salt amps up that electrical energy. That's why we are hardwired to love salt and to love oil. But what you want to do is you want to be proactive by giving yourself good salt, like Himalayan salt and Celtic sea salt, and good oils, like essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs from longevity, or oil uh, foods that contain good oils. Fish, of course, is great, and so is avocados. Thanks for your call, Brian. In New Hampshire, appreciate it. Sorry if we left you on hold. Got to call in earlier so we can get to all our callers. Uh, that's all the time we have for today, folks. Thanks so much for, for listening in. On the bright side, we'll be back at you tomorrow. We'll continue talking about proteins and peptides and cysteine, and we'll tell you about foods that you can use to get cysteine, and then we'll continue talking about building connective tissue as we continue with our discussion on proteins and peptides and osteoporosis, because that's what this whole conversation about proteins. That's how we began this whole conversation uh, on proteins a couple of months ago. Thanks so much for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com, or check out my website, BrightSideBen.com. Click on the Join the Team link and join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. We will talk to you all later. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye for now. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927. 866-229-0927. Or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com.